First to the United States, where the confirmation hearing for Donald Trump's Supreme Court pick Amy Coney Barrett has started. The chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Lindsey Graham, earlier laid out the schedule for Barrett's nomination hearings. The first day is dedicated to opening statements from Barrett and members of the committee. No Supreme Court nominee has ever been confirmed between July and November of a presidential year. The timing is extremely significant and has far-reaching implications also for the electoral campaigns. Earlier, Judge uh, Amy Coney Barrett had pledged that she will approach judicial cases based on the law and not her personal views. In a copy of her prepared speech, Barrett said that as a judge, she seeks to reach the results required by the law, whatever her own preferences might be, quote-unquote. She has also said that it will be an honor of a lifetime to serve alongside the current eight justices and explained how she approaches the cases. The conservative jurist faces a four-day confirmation hearing, after which the upper chamber of the U.S. Congress will decide whether they accept or reject Barrett's nomination. Let's tell you more about Amy Coney Barrett. She is favored by social conservatives. She'll also face Democratic opposition regarding the issue of abortion rights. But despite their opposition, the Democrats have few tools at their disposal to block her confirmation. The Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell controls the Senate's schedule and procedures, with the Republicans retaining 53 of the upper chamber's 100 seats. If Barrett is confirmed, she will become the fifth woman to serve on the Supreme Court and would also shift the court to a 6-3 conservative majority, a practicing Catholic and law professor. She was appointed to the bench for the first time in 2017, with Republicans almost certain to confirm Barrett. The move will tilt the U.S. top court to the right. The appointment would push the Supreme Court's conservative majority to a 6-3 and a conservative, conservative court would be less likely to embrace liberal causes like ending the death penalty. But even with the Democrats fighting a losing battle, as many have called it, the Supreme Court hearing on Obamacare could be a winning opportunity for them. The Democratic opposition has urged Barrett to step aside on an upcoming challenge to the Obamacare law. Democrats are facing a challenge when it comes to saving a key Obamacare provision that bars insurance companies from denying coverage to people with pre-existing conditions, the provision would be thrown out if the court strikes down the law. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer, meanwhile, said that Barrett should step aside from the case, which will be argued in the court on the 10th of November. The latest hearing now gives them an opportunity to push a health care message that helped them win the House in 2018. For more on those developments, uh, joining us live on the broadcast is our correspondent Kate Fisher, live from Washington, D.C. Hi, Kate. Uh, what is the latest uh, that we have at this point uh, coming in from the conf confirmation hearing? Just day one. Uh, the next three days will also be significant. But what is the likelihood that uh, we're in for a surprise? Many have said this is a losing battle for the Democrats. Yeah, I think that's right. There are even very few Democrats who think there's much they can do to stop this nomination from going forward. This morning so far here in Washington on Capitol Hill, we have heard opening statements from, uh, that we're beginning to hear from every single senator who sits on this committee. We'll hear a statement from all of them and then we will hear from Amy Coney Barrett herself. She will read her opening statement. There won't be any back and forth questioning uh, yet today. That will all start tomorrow. So if you're hoping for some interesting um, tussles, as it were, that is probably not going to happen today. Uh, but that will uh, likely tomorrow, we'll start to see some real uh, tough questions from the Democrats. But as you say, they are going to be concentrating very narrowly on this issue of health care because they know that it is a vote winner for them. They don't want to get into the more uh, controversial waters of abortion and so on. They want to keep it on health care, particularly as the United States is struggling to contain the coronavirus pandemic at the moment. They want to make it clear to the American people that uh, they face losing uh, some of their health care if the Republicans uh, win uh, 
the, the White House and keep control of the Senate. So they're almost using this. They know that it's highly unlikely that they can defeat her her nomination to the Supreme Court. So they're using this as almost a way to retell the American people how important it is to keep um, Democrats in power if they want to keep their health care the way it is. I know that several Democrats this morning have been using their opening statements to give personal stories about constituents who have benefited from the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare, holding up pictures uh, and so on. So the Democrats being very um, kind of calculated about the way they play this. Right. No Supreme Court nominee, as we mentioned, has ever been confirmed between July and November of a presidential year. This confirmation hearing coming this close to the November 3rd election has far-reaching implications. What impact is this set to have on the election? Well, this is one of the other main arguments that, that the Democrats are using in their opening statements today, that they don't believe this should even be taking place at all and that it is unconstitutional to rush. They're saying it's rushing through uh, this nomination hearing in order for Amy Coney Barrett to be installed before November's election. Of course, the big concern about what it means for the election is that if there is any um, legal tussle over the results of this election, either nationally or in individual states, that is likely to end up in, well, it will end up in the Supreme Court, in the country's top court, and it will be uh, judged by this court that now has a very recent uh, Donald Trump appointee, um, as well as two other Donald Trump appointees, and it will be a conservative leaning court. And the Democrats say that's not fair in terms of how they will judge uh, a very close uh, contest on election night. If those votes are very close and the decision about who has actually won a particular state ends up in the Supreme Court, the Democrats are concerned that that court will rule in favour of Donald Trump because he has just appointed uh, the last three judges. So uh, it's not just health care, abortion and so on. It is also the results of the election that the Democrats are concerned about. Right. So it's a four day long hearing. Uh, we are awaiting further details uh, since that hearing is at the moment under recess. Leaving it there for the moment. Thanks very much, Kate Fisher, for those updates.